Hey Blazers, I'm Wilson Simons with Vanguard TV. Ben had a type day on April 25th. Here's Zane Collison with the story. As all freshmen, the LTHS marching band had an amazing inaugural year. And they've already begun gearing up for next year by showing freshmen their new show, Tectonic, on April 25th, Hype Day. Hype Day means getting excited about next year's marching season and next year as a whole, getting to know all the new people coming in and getting to learn our music. Hype Day was basically um, sort of the celebration of beginning band next year. So we had uh, our incoming freshmen join us and just really start to make a, a band bond. Incoming freshmen got the chance to meet current band members and form friendships. Um, it was really cool to meet the freshmen at Hype Day. They were all really nice, and a couple of them were shy and nervous, but they were really excited about our new show and about marching. I think Hype Day is a great bonding opportunity because like, you get to meet all the new freshmen, see what they're like, and you get to show yourself as a leader and show them that, hey, you are a person too and that they can be your friend. Band members got their first glimpse to look at the audition music for next year. I think it's actually quite easy. It's pretty fun. It was out of the same book that most of our all-state etudes came out of. So it's a, it's a little bit of a challenge, but it's overall fun. I really like it. I know that it was one of the old um, all-state trumpet etudes, so I know that some people have actually already heard them. Uh, it's actually a pretty fun piece, so I'm excited to play it. Hype Day presented a great opportunity for the LT band to get together and prepare for next year. From Vanguard TV, I'm Zane Carlson. Leadership is always important. Fine arts is no exception. Here's Julian Canlis with a story. The end of the school year is fastly approaching and our fine arts department as a whole will be collectively electing student officers for the next year. Orchestra, band, and choir, along with the rest of the fine arts, will be electing new student officers for the next year. Having student officers is really important because they are here to help the directors and the teachers and the sponsors carry out day-to-day -day tasks a little bit more easily. Um, it's also really effective when you're trying to communicate different ideas and different kind of criticism to your students and the members of the organization. Sometimes they believe their peers a little bit more than they'll believe their directors. Um, so it's nice to have somebody who's um, the same age and in kind of the same role as the, the rest of the members to give directions. I think the challenges that an officer has to overcome is, is especially when dealing with their own peer group, is trying to get, um, try to lead by example and also try to, I guess, work with the different personalities that come in the organization. Um, working with each other, I think, is the most important element in creating a good organization. So I think the biggest challenge is kind of working with everyone's personalities and kind of using everyone's strengths for the common good. Um, I was really excited when I found out that I got Historian because I love helping the band directors and helping everyone in band and I think it's fun. So, um, I was really surprised but then also really excited to work with the other uh, sophomore reps. Well, in most positions you lead your section or you lead the band. Uh, you kind of just help everyone with what they're trying to accomplish and like work as a team and help the 8th graders. They, they're lost a lot. Um, we have to be able to communicate and be a bridge between uh, teachers and students. I really wanted to take up a leadership role in the orchestra and to be around my peers more and to help out as much as I can. Uh, well, you really should just show the directors that you have the abilities and you have the qualifications to do it and you should just practice um, your position and make sure you're prepared. As this school year comes to a close and the next one approaches, our new officers will have many tasks to overcome. We wish them with further luck. This has been Alec Freeman reporting with the The LTHS the golf team has been doing well this year. One student, Olivia Mitchell, has stood out against her peers. Olivia has represented our school well by making state in golf. Congratulations to Olivia for her recent achievement in golf. Thank you for watching this week's Vanguard TV. Go to lthsvanguard.com for more story ideas. Have a great day, Blazers. Here we go! Yeah.